Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is part 10 of our um, Dungeon Crawler series. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be making a shop and adding some currency. So the first thing we're going to do is add a shop folder. And in here, I'm going to make a new 2D scene. I'm going to name this shop, save it. And then I'm going to save it into our shop folder. And there it is. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a panel. And then in this panel, we're going to grid it so that it covers most of the screen. I'm going to go to theme override, new style box. And we're going to try to make it look relatively OK, relatively good looking, I guess. I'm going to make it kind of black. Go to border width. We'll do 15. OK, I lied, not border width. Um, we're going to actually turn all of those off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're going to look at border current radius. There we go. We're going to turn, turn these to 15. And then we're going to actually go back to the border width. We're going to, we're going to add a border. We're going to do 555. And then we're going to blend it. And for the color, what we'll do is we can make it kind of bluish. Make it like robotic, I guess. Um, actually, let's make it fit the theme a little bit, so we'll make it a bit dark blue, kind of like that. All right, there we go. Um, next thing I'm going to do, this is going to rename this to BG, and then I'm going to lock this in because I don't want to move it. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another panel, and then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to make one panel essentially a buying item sort of thing. So I'm going to extend this a little bit. I'm going to label that. We'll actually try to make it even, right? Um, this will be uh, small zombie. And then I'm going to actually add a script. And we'll go back to the small zombie. I'm going to go to theme override. I'm going to make it look a little different because I don't really like the way it looks too much. I'll make it like a dark blue, really dark blue there. And then for the width, I'll do three, 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 three. I'll blend it and then light blue kind of. And then quarter, we'll do five, 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 five. And then Inside of this panel, we're going to add a label. And in this label, we'll call it small zombie. Now I'm going to move it down just slightly. And then I'm going to also add the small zombie. I suppose you can call it that. Um, here we go. And then I'm just going to test it to see what it looks like. All right, I'm going to move this up just slightly. Actually, I don't have to turn that off. I'll just do this. And then what I can do is just center it for both. And then I'll actually move it so that it's like that. And we'll move that to the left. And now we have this. Awesome. Um, keep in mind, you can always change the borders and label and panels and stuff. Um, honestly, I might actually do that. I'm going to change this to a darker color. There we go. Next thing we want to do is we're going to add a button. So we want a button for buying it. So here it is. Now we're also going to duplicate this label, this title, and this one will be description. Now this will say disk. A all the zombie that costs five mana to spawn. And then we can auto wrap it and just rectangle scale we'll do 0 0.6, 0 0.6. I'm going to turn off auto grid and I'm going to move that right there. And now if I play it, I have a little description as well. Um, I'll actually change it to five 
MP. And then I'll make it go down a little bit. And then in here, say purchase. Yeah, and that's it. Um, here we can actually cost uh, 100G. So now if I launch, I now have a title that says small zombie, little zombie there, a small zombie that costs 5 MP to spawn, and then it also costs 100 uh, gold. And we can purchase it, but obviously the purchase doesn't work. So um, we're going to want to fix that. So in our button, um, we're actually not going to do anything yet because we need to add currency. So to add currency, I'm simply just going to do this. So add currency by doing variable gold equals 10. And then in our button, now we go back to our button, I'm going to rename it to purchase. I'm going to connect it to our script. And then in our script, I'm going to, what am I doing? Um, sorry, let me just double check my reference. All right, um, so I'm just going to check if game dot uh, gold is bigger than or equal to 100, then we subtract 100 gold. And then we also want to make it make the value true. So we're going to have to add that. So small zombie um, owned equals false. So in general, well, let's make one more. Let's do um, ice zombie owned is also equal false. Right? In general, we want to be able to purchase these zombies essentially and upgrade our, our player. So to do that, we need to make a variable that says whether or not we own it. So we can do game dot small zombie equals true. So now we do own it. And then what we can do is print um, small zombie uh, bot. And this won't print on our screen, but it'll tell us in the output. So that's okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add a close another button and this button is going to allow us to close the shop right because how else are we gonna you know go in and out of it um, and we'll put it right there put it on the bottom right there I'll rename it to close rename this to close and then what we'll do is we'll attach it to the main script and then in our ready function we're going to actually do self dot Hide. And then in here, we'll do self dot show. No, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, self dot hide, same thing. <laughs> okay, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to add a way to access this in our main world, right? So now we want to go to our world, and in our UI, whoops, I don't want to make it invisible, we're going to add a button somewhere. And we'll drag in our shop as well, because we want our shop to be local in this place. And make sure it's at zero, zero, so it's centered. Um, minimize those, and then we'll add a button that will say, um, we'll hide that with this to the top, and we'll name it shop. All right, um, next thing we're going to do is make sure we add a UI um, script because we're going to have to add that shop button. And then in our shop button, we're going to just check if it's pressed. And then in here, what we're going to do is get node shop dot show. So now, if I just run the game, I can move around. We have the shop button. There's no shop. If I press it, shop pops up. Obviously the game keeps going. Um, next video, we might work on pausing the video or pausing the game, sorry. So we can probably work on that. Um, but for now we have a shop that works pretty well. Um, it shows in front of everything, which is nice, um, except for the shop. Um, we'll actually change that. So what we can do actually is let's stop the game. Um, here, what we'll do is um, get node shop 
button dot hide. And then in our shop script, what we'll do is get node shop button dot show, delete this little guy, and then that's it. So what this is doing is it's going to hide this whenever I click shop and then re-show it once I close the shop, All right? So now if I play, open the shop, close it, open, close. Now the shop button is not in the way. Another uh, way you could do this is just have the shop in front of the button, but I like to do this just because it would show like a little corner here. And you can still actually click the button if it's even though it's in front. So a way to make the button non-clickable is by hiding it. So this is actually important because if I had the button in the middle, or if these were clickable, and I had the shop open, I could still click it, right? So if I scroll my wheel right now, I can actually still play, right? So we'll fix that next video. We'll add pausing menu. Um, a pause to it, but for now it's good. Um, another thing we want to do is fix up our select mob. So here, what we're going to want to do now is in the number two, we're going to add a um, new. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is want to check if that thing that we have is if we have it or not, right? So actually, we won't do anything in the select mob. What we'll do is go into the player, and instead, we will go into here and check if we have game.smallzombie equals true. And if it is, then we'll spawn it. And then same thing for here. Uh, I zombie owned true. Um, at the moment, there is no else. So actually, I'm not sure if it will error. Let's take a guess. Ooh, it will error. OK, so um, we'll actually move this. OK, let's see if that errors. Let's see if that fixes it. Ooh, it does. OK. Um, what we can do, we'll actually set this to um be the friendly zombie um in the future we'll make it so that you can select the other ones but for now this is good um and yeah so we can no longer spawn the ice or small zombies unless we buy them so now we have to actually add a way to do that so let's go into our let's close that go into mobs hostile mobs i'm going to go into the script and then every time they die do 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 it's uh we're gonna keep three but we're also going to game dot gold plus equals 10. um and then we'll actually do 100 for now for the sake of the video just so we can test it so now ooh, let's also add a way to check how much gold i have so let's actually go back into our shop i usually like to do this in our shop so in here we can add a label and this label will show us gold so i'll rename it to gold I'll actually make it built in and then in the process function do text equals um, string game dot gold. So we have to convert this integer to a string. And now we're going to move it. I will move it right there. In fact, I'll actually do this. Um, gold is equal to that. All right. Now, if I go into my shop, I have zero gold. Let's kill something. Ooh, interesting. What's happening there? Oh, there we go. It did update. OK, so now I have 300 gold. I can purchase this. I can keep purchasing it, but it won't matter. So now I can spawn the small zombies. There's obviously a lot of bugs, um, but we'll fix them next video. Um, or you can try fixing them on your own until then. But the general idea of the shop works, so that's good. Um, next video, we'll work on a bunch of things. So fixing the zombie, you can purchase more than once, right? Purchase a bunch of times for no reason. Um, we can also still select the ice zombie, stuff like that. So for now, um, this is good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Um, and I will see you guys next time.